It only seems apt that my second hero deck and guide uh, that I've started doing here post version 42 happens to be my my main, Muriel. Amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices. Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Muriel building guide. If, we're if you want to take a look at the deck, head on over to the end of the video as we're going to take a look at it in depth. So ladies and gentlemen, the very first ability that you start off with when you're playing support Muriel likely going to be Consecrated Ground. AoE, 205 shield to allies, 70 ability damage to enemies after 1.05 seconds. It, here in the early game, is a surprising amount of damage. Really, honestly, not going to lie. When you convert all of her kit into damage, at least her Q and her E, actually, that's a big... Uh, uh, something the, the offlaners actually tend to get kind of surprised about so uh but of course that shield is what you mainly use it here for the countess here well i'm gonna have to be uh i'm gonna have to use it on us as uh, if our uh wraith here is gonna stand right in the middle of the wave which she's going to dark tide through uh, i'm gonna have to get ready for it so the whole thing about muriel is you're going to have to be get used to um you're gonna have to get used to um, preempting damage, and because shields only mitigate damage, the shield has to be on your ally before that damage is taken. So, got to be very, very careful here. As I'm just trying, I'm trying to preempt the the Countess uh, Dark Tide there. As you can see, I was just waiting for her to use it. So that's probably the first ability you're going to get, as that really gives you the greatest shields and stuff like that. So. And I'm going to try to harass this um, this Countess as I can take a few hits here, and that is A-OK. -okay. And here in the early game, you kind of want to harass the, the offlaner as much as you can. Uh, try, to put, try to put your E in a place where it'll damage them, but also get placed onto you. And then, okay, let's see if she comes back here, right there. And as you can see, um, her Q is pretty good as well serenity is your last ability that you're gonna get um as your as alacrity is probably the second ability you want to be getting um ooh, i'm using a little bit too much mana i thought she was gonna go on uh my on my uh wraith there i should be actually probably be attacking her but uh there you go so we should be a-okay -okay here there's a shield to mitigate that damage. As you can see, it works really quite nicely. So um, that's kind of all what Muriel is about. You gotta get, you gotta get real used to when, um, gotta get real used to when, when damage happens and whatnot. And I got it. Ha ha ha! Nicely done. Besides Armored Footman here, the very first card you want to pick up is either Lamplighter or when you can. Protective Sentry. So that second ability that we ended up getting quite a while ago now is Alacrity. Gives a small shield, only 94 shield, but gives them movement speed uh, that decays over two seconds. So in order to speed yourself up or enemies up, or, or sorry, our allies up, uh, you can use this ability. It is a projectile that goes a really long way and then it kind of drops. Um, you'd have to get used to it, but basically it's a straight line skill shot uh, that you can that you can land on on allies or on yourself if you just aim it right at your feet. Uh, again, a really interesting, really interesting dynamic there. Now you can uh, you can get that whenever you want, really. But um, oh, oh goodness. So there is one uh, deleted uh, Wraith, but fantastic ultimate to keep him safe. So we're going to say attack left lane, as hopefully that gives them time there to do so. Now, we do get Serenity last. It is a ability that is a skill shot 
that deals a little bit of damage. Again, in the early game, it is actually kind of surprising, um, but it also slows, and it's a massive slow. 200 max movement speed slow for three whole seconds really is actually quite... Uh, it, it is quite substantial, so you can use that to slow down enemies to kill them, or um, probably more likely slow down enemies to protect your own allies. So um, it is a ability you have to get used to. There's a bit of a charge up time, and then the actual projectile has its own uh, projectile speed, of course. You have to just get used to that as well. And your last ability, probably the coolest ability in the game, in my opinion, is Reversal of Fortune. Fly to a target ally anywhere on the map. A cool, really cool targeting reticle comes up, and you can select the hero. Sometimes it's really buggy and glitchy and kind of dumb, to be honest with you. Uh, but you can fly to that hero. The moment you confirm the ability on a ally, they gain a 410 shield. And when you land... There's a there's a, a there's a AOE slow that is applied uh, for two seconds on nearby enemies. So really is quite something um, that you know what you have to pay attention to your mini map. What it also does is gives Muriel a unique opportunity. She can believe it or not split push, and with a certain card in this deck, we will be able hint withering shadow. We will be able to split push as a support and still be supportive for our team and whether you know whether your team takes your split pushing nature into account and utilizes that as a good thing um it kind of really depends so look at this there's one d nicely done there you go look at that uh, should i go for it should i go for it should i go for it no i can't go for it unfortunately um, I simply don't deal that much damage. So there you guys go. Gotta pay attention to your mini map because Muriel is one um, one very, very, very interesting, interesting support that uh, takes a lot of map awareness. And it's a hard skill to do well. It's a hard skill to um, master. But I think that's why I like Muriel so much. She's a very... She has a lot of potential. Now, the the biggest tips I would have to say for Muriel is you really have to get used to anticipating enemy damage. And that will just come with experience, getting to know enemy heroes, getting to know just how certain, <coughs> pardon me, engagements happen. Um, it's, it's, it just takes time. And that's, is, and that's really cool. Um, because... You know what? Why wouldn't you want a... <coughs> Pardon me. Why wouldn't you want a tricky... Not a tricky hero, but a hero that that requires some skill and uh, and, and some development. So that is definitely the biggest thing to, to do with Muriel. This deck in particular is... <coughs> Pardon me. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit under the weather. Um, is actually a little bit pseudo damage. It's a pseudo support deck that um, has the the essentials, protective sentry, um, a, one shield card, I do believe, but also some damage potential because of her shields and like the raw supportive nature of her kit. I think with, with Muriel, you can actually go for, in a lot of cases, a little bit of damage. So here is an engagement, and I really have to just kind of pay attention as to where is this damage going? But I'm actually really like right in the middle of my whole entire of the whole entire enemy team, and right now I have to. Oh boy! So I'm gonna try to um, ah, body block there for my allies. But oh, we got the kill! Yes, uh, this is a bit of a crazy engagement, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna save my mana. I'm not, oh boy! Well, that's not that's not good. Um, I don't have enough mana for my ultimate. Which is, uh, which is definitely not the greatest. I have to be careful. Do I secure the kill or not? I should probably stay with the rest of my team. So that's what I'm going to go in over here instead. And there you go. So that was really weird engagement. Really bad positioning on myself. But I think it was just so chaotic that um, gladly. I'm going to give this um, Severag a speed boost. So he can maybe go and catch up to her. And there she is. So let's see. I think she'd be dead right now. Let's try to slow her down. There's a slow. Oh boy. But there's a bazillion of them. 
Uh, where's your Dark Tide? Where's your Dark Tide? There it is! There's a shield for the ultimate! Exactly! Read that like a book and she should be dead, baby. Oop, yo, cheese. Oh, boy, that hurts. So there you go. There's that anticipation. I knew that at some point she was going to do it. She kind of hesitated a little bit. Well, not really hesitated, but she spent a little bit of time. I just kind of get had that feeling. And uh, you know what? That's that's what I love about Muriel. That's absolutely what I love. It's ultimately, it's ultimately reactive, but it's like a proactive, reactive playstyle. That's just so damn good. Now, after Radiant Healer, which I really highly recommend here in the beginning, it is a great transition to Molinx Prayer, um, or even if if you want Molinx Grace. Uh, I've chosen to go for Molinx Prayer a little bit to give my my team some 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 armor because I can I I'll be able to mitigate burst damage, which is mostly um, which is mostly ability damage, and then I will be able to. And then I'll be able to heal them up from anything that I that, that I miss and give them some sustained damage mitigation through that basic armor. So I, I like the card. It is up to you. The really good thing is that Malik's Prayer or um, or uh, Malik's Grace transitions to Withering Shadow, which is something that, um, that, that I'm going to try to go for here pretty soon. Um, fairly nice. So why, why Withering Shadow? It simply just gives us power it gives us it gives us quite a bit of health and the and the ability to uh wave clear do get some good split push which is what i'm going to be doing here um just so i can get some some more experience and my ultimate so that i can go and participate in that battle uh coming up here so i just have to be very careful no see and that's where you just need you just need a little bit of of um of map awareness here and 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 you should be a-okay nope that's that is gonna kill me holy cow i didn't think that was going to uh kill me whatsoever um but so there there is just my my bad my execution there um i didn't think she would be able to do 600 damage here at the 22 minute mark now when you don't have your ultimate you have to be with your team. You have to be with your team. You have to be with your carry when you don't have your ultimate because, well, if you're not there, then you can't shield people and your value is pretty much out of the window. Especially if you don't have Withering Shadow. You have no wave clear to split push anyways. So so you have to be with your team when you don't have your ultimate. All right, this may be a time when you regret your decision to try to help out your teammates. But let's see here if this is one of those moments. I used everything, including Protective Sentry, which does give us some... Oh, and there's a little bit of a weird feature. Oh, the, count the Countess is almost dead. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, there we go. Uh, I have no mana, so I have to be really careful here. Uh, okay, there you go. And where I'm going to actually slow down this phase, 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 jeez, guys, 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 phase, holy cow, you don't ever, you don't ever go for somebody but other than phase, no, phase first, always phase, always phase, always phase, it ended up working, but, oh, always phase. Phase first. Always phase, guys. Yes, I would take the time to stop in the middle of a bat of a battle to say that because it is seriously that um, that impactful. So um, there you go. There is so the protective shield, the protective sentry is a thing that you can use in a battle. Um, ooh, not sure what the ooh, Fing Mao's doing. You should be able to get out of here. Give him a little bit of a speed boost. Um, attack this tower, make sure it goes down. People should have rotated there. So, woo! Guys, there you go. Uh, I had no mana for, for my two. Let's use it here to give us some health here. Maybe maybe they're going to do something. Oh, this Wraith is doing a tremendous amount of damage. Um, there's the Colossal Blow that I mitigated there. There we go. Um, oh, I'm not going to be really able to help. I'm out of mana here. 
Um, I can't body block that, so no, I don't have enough for my consecrated ground. Unfortunately, and look at that walk down soon, I'm almost getting away. Oh, so close. So very close here. Um, and, uh, oh, just trying to do work. Oh, there you go. Oh, and we get it. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. What a crazy, crazy, crazy game. Uh, got my ultimate, so go, I can go back. Try to, try to go, to go back only when you have your ultimate. But, I mean, a lot of the times, it's just, you, you just can't, right? Um, uh, it's not that easy, so certainly you can try your best to do something like that. And here's the really cool part that I absolutely love. We can put on Withering Shadow, and we can have Wave Clear. That only further increases our, our, uh, our, our ability to... To just be awesome. I don't know, guys. It's really that simple. It is so much fun. Um, I absolutely love it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this this Muriel deck and guide. Just awesome, guys. What can I say? How freaking awesome is that? Let's take a look at the deck. So, here is the deck, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Lamplighter is a, is a card you need in the early game in order to kind of really keep yourself alive and others. Armored Footman just kind of helps with the, with the damage. If you're trying to harass your offlaner a lot, it can reduce their damage and minion damage. A, 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 a substantial amount. Armored Footman, really powerful. Radiant Healer, something you basically just gun for as soon as you have Protective Sentry. Get pr Protective Sentry first. Rush for this card, get it, then get Radiant Healer. And then you have some choices. Do you, you can go for Finder of Playthings, give a little bit of met power, mana regen, and some more vision and the ability to reduce attack speed and movement speed of somebody so you can secure kills or, uh, or slow somebody down again to help peel for your allies. And then with, with Radiant Healer, you can kind of go into Malik's Grace if you want this one. This is absolutely fantastic. A phenomenal additional shield card that you can use uh, on really anybody, preferably your carry, to again give them another shield. If if, if yours are all on cooldown and you need one more, there's Malik Grace. You can also go for Malik's Prayer for that health. It, just can't, it, it, it worked out in this game, so I just went for Malik's Prayer. Um, and then that's it. That's seriously all you need. Mollink's, Mollink's Grace, Mollink's Prayer, and Protective Sentry, that is the, that's the trio of support. In my opinion, that's what you need as a support. Then you can slowly transition into more damage, if necessary, um, or, or if possible. So you go straight for Withering Shadow first. Again, that, that, it, it helps with AoE damage, um, in team fights and especially in split pushing, which you can get, this is when you really start to snowball in economy over the enemy support while it's still being just as effective, at least in my opinion. Then you go for Withering Shadow. Plague Lord is a great, uh, card as well to help Peel for your allies, uh, slow enemies, and of course, uh, apply that blight to everybody, plus get power, health, and mana. Nameless Curse you can go for if you want single target crazy, crazy damage. Put that on, on their phase, or put that on the carry, something like that. It is really quite phenomenal. Add Sorvac Initiate. If you really get there, Sorvac Initiate and Withering Shadow, phenomenal combination as uh, Sorvac gives you the ability armor. Um, and that percentage base damage on somebody while withering it's a, it's damage to you is reduced from the ability damage but you're still dealing aoe damage so really cool i love the idea of damage on on somebody like muriel who has such a great kit to begin with but you always keep protective century you always keep this one maybe in the 40 minute mark you can go with sorvac sorvac withering and plague lord or something like that maybe but honestly you need protective sentry period so there you guys go the gems here pretty 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 normal armored to help 
have a, yet another shield on Muriel. And it kind of, it, it decentivizes a lot of people is like, oh, she's already shield. And believe me, it's kind of a mind game damage return. So that people, when they do focus you, when they figure when they figure it out that you're running Plague or Withering Shadow, it just helps deal with that. Reflects, reflects a Purify so that you aren't stunned, locked, and, and you can't, you know, shield yourself or enemies. And that is kind of what Muriel, that's her weak point. People stun her, focus her down, and then she can't shield herself. She can't shield enemies or allies. So there's that intellect. Auto shield, another shield that 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 uh, Muriel can get. So you're just like the worst person to try to take down. Blade term to kind of help um, to help uh, d deal with ADC damage. I think blade term needs to be buffed. That 15 second internal cooldown needs to be like seriously like three or four seconds, two and a half, something like that. 15 seconds is way too long, but. I think uh, it's worth it. And mana found just so you can keep using your abilities. Really strong. And there you guys go. Let me know what do you think of my Muriel pseudo support deck and guide. Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Please like this video if you like it, just like it, just like it, share with the community, and of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. I got a ton of content coming, so please subscribe if you did find it useful. Please check the video description for links to my website, merchandise store, Amazon affiliate link, and of course, all my social media. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.